Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Collini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is designed to bust myths and answer your questions. You know, one of the most frequently asked questions that I hear when I travel is who brought creatine monohydrate to the marketplace? Well, I'm going to tell you the true story about how that originated. It wasn't until about 1992 when Dr. Halting released some research that was published about creatine monohydrate. Remember, creatine was discovered back in the 1890s, so it wasn't some sports nutrition company in the 2000s that, that discovered that. It was a long time ago. But after that article was released, uh, a company named Cal Farm, their owner, John, uh, gave me a call at All American Pharmaceutical and said, hey, have you ever heard of this stuff called creatine monohydrate? Um, I'd like to look at selling it. You know, my friend Bill Phillips and Muscle Media 2000 uh, is where I'm going to market it. So I did a little bit of research and I found a lab in um, the Midwest named Fansteel Laboratories and they were making about 25 kilos every six months for research purposes. So I worked up a deal and uh, put a contract in the place and we started to manufacture that for Cal Farm. It was very interesting because it sold for $99 a bottle and you could only buy it through Muscle Media 2000, Bill Phillips Magazine, and you had to call a 1-800 number and you always got a answering machine. I'm talking about a good old answering answering machine that said, hey, send your money order in for $99 and allow four to six weeks for processing. Cal Farm was the first one to get it out there. Um, from there, you know, we put together several contracts with companies such as Marathon Nutrition, um, Warren Nutrition, and the creatine phenomena continued. Um, about 1994, All American Pharmaceuticals started synthesizing uh, creatine monohydrate in our Billings plant, and we were the second company uh, in the USA besides Fansteel to do that. Interesting enough, uh, some people think that Creapir was the first. Creapir didn't come on the market until 1995. EAS didn't come onto the market until about 95 or 96, well after several years, two to three years, that creatine had been on the marketplace. Anyhow, so Dr. Jeff Galini, All-American Pharmaceutical, was the one who brought creatine monohydrate to the marketplace. You heard it here. Remember, this is where the truth starts and where you find the facts. Hey, if you got any questions, uh, that's what I like to do on this show is just answer your questions. Uh, if you look below, you'll find my email address. Go ahead and send me a question, and uh, if it's a good one, we'll talk about it on the show. See you next time.